So, because, you know, as a solo slooper, it only takes what? It takes... It takes you only to be knocked off the ship once to lose. Getting chased happens to all of us. Some can get rid of it, and others eventually get caught. It also depends on why you are sailing. Do you want to fight, or do you want to complete commendations? And you know, let them leave you alone. You wanna fight? Let's fight. Let's, let's go. In both situations, luring and trapping the enemy is a great choice and a very underrated strategy. Fear. These ships, by the way. I will show you how you can stop other ships from chasing you. Not by running, but by sinking them without putting yourself or your ship in danger. If you enjoy these types of videos, please consider subscribing to help me create more. In my situation, as much as I love PvP, I still enjoy an organic balance during my Twitch streams, leveling up my Athena emissary while exposing myself to threats. Why you fight me, man? Notice this default sloop comes charging at me. Usually, if a sloop has no cosmetics, it means two things. They are either new or experienced server hoppers. Server hopping is the act of logging into servers repeatedly until you end up landing on one with a point of interest. Wanna get knocked off? I am solo, getting knocked off is not a... is not an option. You get knocked off, and after fighting the first player, you get attacked by the black screen of... death. And then you just lose. Throughout the video you will notice that I went to the lower deck whenever I got in their cannon range in case of any cannonball blasts that would send me flying either to the water or to the ferryman. Okay, I need to know my enemy before I do anything else. Seeing them angle sails and do proper steps to maintain speed, they are server hoppers coming to take my flag, and they usually do that only in one way. One tries to get on your ship and repeatedly kill you while the other damages with cannonballs. It's really important to drain the ship from chain shots too. Oh, he saw me. Ooh! Server hoppers! Come on. Alright, now I know. To prevent the loss, my number one priority was to make sure I don't get knocked off, and to stop any of them from getting near my ladder by trying my best to stay out of their cannon range. This means sinking them with my ship's cannons could put my slope at risk, as I will be within range. In case of grabbing the ladder, one of these would knock them far back that they won't be able to hold the ladder again. It's essential to keep only blunder bombs within your thumb's reach while solo slooping. After this boarding attempt, I go to higher ground with a blunder bomb routed to my mouse thumb hotkey. On the other hand, why bail twice when you can do that once? If you and the ship are on fire, standing on that spot and splashing yourself will complete two tasks in one go. It's important to optimize your tasks while solo sloping. Now that I'm quite far, even if they launch cannonballs, it will be easy to dodge and go to the bottom deck if heading right towards your character. I slow them down again with a chain shot to try another boarding attempt. But I fail due to the missile launcher attack. Since they are tailing me in straight lines, I can choose where they go. And in this situation, I decided to take them right into the trap that does not involve fighting them with my ship or with my weapons. It's a trap that will guarantee success in most of your encounters. Through all this time, I was luring them towards an inactive fort, so I can attack them with a tower, which works 9 out of 10 times. Even if I was further, I still won't use a cannon to get there, as the sound will alert them that I am on the fort and could be using the tower, so I had to go there silently. Now in most situations, whenever this works, they attack back with cannons. This is why I drop the keg out of the tower, as it will blow up and kill me. Since I have stationary cannons, the most important thing is to stop their ship entirely. Get within range, man! Two? 
Three. Four. Five. Counting cannonballs works well, as a pirate can only carry 10. So after 10 shots, you will have a small window to shoot back and pin them down. But here, they either ran out at 5 or my silence made them think I'm dead. So I took advantage and started shooting towards the first thing they would do, raise their mast. A flawless victory for a solo slooper. This tower trap has saved me countless times for brigantines, sloops, galleons, and so on. Yes! Did you guys? It only brings more victories to the table. And with that, I hope this video brings more audience to my channel to help my journey to 80,000 subs. If you are not subscribed and enjoy my content, it will be much appreciated. Feel free to check my description below with all videos recommended of similar encounters like this one. And if you want live questions, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays. Thank you for watching and happy sailing. If you like binge, ma binge watch my videos, especially the things that say I have a playlist called walkthroughs. Not guides, DLCs or something, walkthroughs. If you binge watch this, you're gonna see all these moves in here. Honestly, I was worried about these guys. So, because, you know, as a solo slooper, it only takes what? It takes... It takes you only to be knocked off the ship once to lose. I don't know, you remember your ship can sink a prison in the water? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know? So, um, yeah, that's it. Now back to cooking 